Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. Uh, well, today was a little cooler day. Um, temperature did not get up uh, as high as it has been. Um, I actually had to wear a hoodie part of the day. Um, to try and stay warm. Um, it was only in the, the 60s today, um, which a few months ago would have been really nice and, and comfortable um, because, you know, getting out of winter and, you know, 60 degrees, oh, it's warm. Uh, now it's gotten up into the 80s and 90s a uh, couple of times, so now we're used to warmer weather and now 60 degrees is cold, so... Uh, but uh, managed to get out and uh, use the chainsaw to cut up uh, a couple of limbs up uh, near the, uh, the big garden. Um, they were laying partway in. Uh, yesterday we had gotten out and done quite a bit of the mowing and uh, had had to mow around these limbs. Um, but we had gotten the, uh, the big garden mowed yesterday, uh, all except for that area. Um, we got back up there today, finished the mowing, uh, I cut up those limbs with the chainsaw and we were able to, uh, then mow that area. And then I got the, uh, tiller out and ran it up there and, uh, got an initial tilling done of the big garden. Um, it, uh, is going to need another tilling at this point because, um, it's just, you know, it just wasn't very nice up there. <laughs> too many weeds, too much grass. Um, it just, you know, needed a good tilling uh, to get started, uh, break up the soil a little bit. Um, now I'm going to have to go back up there and till it and get it really dug up and, and changed and, and, you know, turned over good so that we can plant up there. Uh, I also went across the street to uh, a neighbor. Um, he had an area that he was, uh, he was actually out there with a, with a small uh, tiller, uh, more like a, a mantis type of, of uh, tilling device. Um, you know, not even a big uh, walk behind tiller. It was just a small little thing. And uh, he was trying to till up a little area, um, but he had a much bigger area that, that actually they were wanting to get tilled. Um, initially, it was so that they could throw grass seed out there. Uh, we started talking to him about, you know, planting a garden, and uh, they were even happier about that. So I got the area tilled up for them. Uh, it'll also need another tilling. Um, so, but, uh, we, uh, we're going to help them put in a garden across the street and, uh, it'll be, you know, basically out front where we can kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, our big one is out back where it's a little, a little harder to keep track of. Um, and we do tend to have, uh, some, uh, loss of, uh, product. Um, we have some people who, uh, help themselves to some of what we have. Um, we're not happy about that. We're working on, I'm still working on getting the, uh, the fencing around the perimeter of the property line so that, uh, we can cut down on any people wanting to just, uh, take what they want. Um, and, uh, but it's a work in progress. Uh, I've got several, I've got a couple of rolls that I need to move yet and get put up. Part of it is I'm trying to actually stretch the fence properly so that it's taut and uh, not just hanging. And, uh, that takes a little bit more effort and a little more work and, uh, so, 
but I'm getting there. Uh, it will be done at some point in time. Uh, I've got some more fencing that I'm trying to take down and get moved, um, but I've got a lot of work to do to get that where I can do it again. Um, a lot of weeds have grown up, and uh, so, but it should be okay. I'll get to it. Uh, but, you know, it was overall a decent day. Um, got some stuff accomplished. Um, we, uh, we had a nice dinner. Um, we cooked up a couple of, uh, rib steaks that we got from, uh, Beef Boutique. And, uh, so, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, once again, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.